So the last number of weeks might have been saturated with all of the flagship devices coming from the likes of Samsung, Sony, and HTC. But one of the best phones possibly coming out of the Asian market just made it onto my doorstep. Hey, it's Joshua Gar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And it's time to unbox and give my first impressions on the Oppo Find 7. <laughs> But first, a quick disclaimer. The version that I'm going to be unboxing and giving my first impressions on right now is the Find 7A, uh, which is the version that comes with uh, 1080p resolution in the screen instead of the Quad HD of the original Find 7. All right, and here we are with the box. I actually think it's a very attractive looking box. Uh, it's just black all around. Uh, I will show you the sticker on the back. As we can see right here, it says a 5.5 inch LCD coming in at 1920 by 1080 resolution. So this is not the quad HD version that we are uh, working with here, but the contents in the box, the extras should be largely the same. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they are. I'm gonna take the lid off and there is the phone. What we have here is the Find 7 with the 5.5 inch screen, and that is pretty much what we would have expected. Uh, this uh, comes in, it looks like the gray version. We don't have the other color here. So I'll go ahead and take out the phone, put that aside for now, and here are the extras. Uh, you can already see here, we have the VOOC charger, the VOOC uh, fast charger that we did extensively cover uh, in our first impressions uh, back in Beijing when the phone was launched. And this is the one that will charge the phone incredibly quickly. We saw it go from like zero to 5% in just a few minutes. And it was uh, one of the most exciting parts of this phone hands down. But aside from that, we also get the micro USB charging cable. Now this is a non-proprietary one, you can see a little cable coming out of here. Yes, the uh, cable from the actual VOOC charger itself does require you to use uh, it does require you to use it in order to get the fast charging done But if you just want to use a regular USB cable because maybe you don't have the time to use this or a place to use this rather Then you'll get more uh, more traditional charging speeds uh, than you would with this So you get a micro USB charging cable here or a connector uh, to the computer But the VOOC charger comes with its own cord that snakes around over here uh, after that we also have these headphones right here, which I'm going to take a look at in a little bit. These look like they are somewhat higher quality than most of the standard fare that you get. And there is also a microphone in line on these headphones. And of course you have the replacement buds. After that, here are the manuals, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and the battery is right underneath as well. So we have the battery. I'll go ahead and put that aside and we'll get ready to use the phone using that. And here are the manuals. You do get an introduction to the actual VOOC charger itself, which is nice. You'll, you'll be able to get a little bit of information on there so you can get started fast charging the phone. Uh, and uh, it's something that we will cover in a future focus video. So you'll see what the uh, evolution of charging looks like given by Oppo. So let's go ahead and just do the honors. All right, and here it is, the Oppo Find 7. It's a very attractive looking device. You'll see here, this is the 5.5 inch screen right here that allows it to be uh, pretty large. Uh, it is going to be outside the comfort of one hand, that, there's no doubt about that. But it does bring the aesthetic that we remember from the Oppo Find 5, which was one of the more attractive phones of last year, that had a very good build that may not be quite the same in this one because it doesn't have that steel construction underneath, but it still has a very attractive profile. It still has a pretty sturdy feel to it. And also the fact that the back is removable does allow it uh, access to the micro SD card slot, the expandable storage, and of course the removable battery. So here is the profile of the phone. We have the 5.5 inch screen up front, which gives it the black slate design. The nice LED on the bottom is going to be fun to use. And then here on the sides, we have the, uh, we have the very, very sleek profile. And it's not that thick of a device at all. It's still pretty thin. And if we go to the other side of the phone real quick, you'll see that the button layout is the opposite of what we're usually used to. Um, the power button is right here on the left side, making it so that I have to turn it on using my index or middle finger. And then the volume rockers are on the right. 
After that, we have the micro USB charging port on the bottom, and then of course the headphone jack right up top. So this is what we're looking at here. I'll go ahead and head on over to the back. Now there's this metallic finish on here, but it's still just plastic. It's not, it's not metal, don't get it uh, twisted. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a very simple look on the back, just the Oppo logo up top with the camera optics above it. And then finally the speaker grill on the bottom. All right, and let's go ahead and dive into the actual operating system itself. This is of course the Color OS, which has been updated to include quite a few features. And a lot of them were gestures if you remember correctly, a few of them were really exciting, at least to me, uh, but we'll take a look at those in a little bit. So it's a uh, color OS providing a experience to Android that is actually quite thoughtful and has a few enhancements underneath that make it actually pretty cool, even if its look is somewhat unorthodox and a little bit odd at times. And of course the home button, one of the nice little additions that is there is if you want to turn off the screen, you don't necessarily have to reach over to the power button. You can just double tap on home and there you go. You can also double tap on the screen to turn it back on. Uh, so those are just, that's just one of the gestures. I can actually show you another one right now. Like if I were to draw a circle while the phone is off, I can go straight to the camera very easily. And so there you have it for this unboxing and first impressions on the Oppo Find 7a. Again, this is not the uh, premium version that comes with the Quad HD or 2K display. Instead, this is the 1080p display version uh, that pretty much has all of the same bits and pieces underneath. And the only real change that we have is a solid uh, finish on the back rather than the carbon fiber that we really loved about the Find 7. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage, including our future coverage of the Oppo Find 7a and the Find 7 when it finally makes it here. It is great to see that the flagships coming from Samsung, Sony, HTC really don't stand alone because we have some great offerings coming out of the Asian market, and this is a wonderful example of one of them. So keep it tuned here for coverage of this phone, as well as our reviews, our comparisons, and all of our weekly coverage, all of which are uh, created by the likes of Joe, Jason, Kevin, the Tech Ninja. Drop us some likes on our videos and subscribe if you haven't already and then when you're done with all of that head on over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things android